Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to talk about enabling or disabling memory compression in Windows 10 or 11. It should be on by default. The idea behind it, as you can see, there's a long explanation here. It's supposed to compress in frequently accessed memory pages, reducing the number of reads and writes to your disk and improve responsiveness. Some people claim that their games run better or they fix lag problems by disabling memory compression, but this assumes you have a pretty higher end computer. I recommend 8 gigs of RAM for anything over for Windows 10 or 11. 8 gigs of RAM, in my opinion, is a minimum. You could get away with 4, but I really like to see you have 8. I think I run 32 now because I'm running, for example, I'm running this virtual machine plus Windows plus 10 programs open, so I need my memory. All right, let's take a look. First of all, we're going to see if it's on, and we're going to show you what to do with it. So press the Windows key plus X, and again, there's no harm in trying this. You might notice a little bit of slowdown, maybe speed up, but you're not going to hurt anything. So if you're just curious about it, you're okay. You can go ahead and do it. You can always flip it back on or off. All right, here we go. Windows key plus X, task manager, performance tab right here. And click on the memory tab here. And I'm in a virtual machine if you're wondering why I suddenly have 8 gigs and I swear to you I run 32. In use, here's the word you're looking for, compressed. So that means your compression is on. All right, so let's go and start up Windows Terminal as administrator. Same thing, Windows key plus X, Windows Terminal admin. And of course, this is another way you can do everything inside of here if you want, and that is... In other words, you can do everything from the command prompt. And that would be to type in this right here. Oops, let me get that open here. And once again, this will tell you memory compression true is on. So that's a second way that you can do it. So now we want to talk about disabling it or enabling it. Really easy. That's why I said if you want to just try it, you're not sure, you can just bookmark the tutorial bookmark this video, do it and come back. So let's open the command prompt or terminal again. Control V or type in what you see here, disable dash MM agent space dash MC. Press enter. And wait a minute, it could take two minutes. If you don't have a lot of memory, it might take longer. And as you can see, there is no confirmation, nothing, but we do know that we can always go back and do get dash mm agent again. And as you can see, memory compression is now false. So once again, as I was saying, you can do everything from here. Now, if you want to go back to Windows default, once again, it's not much different. It's almost the same as what we did before. Instead of enable mm agent mc, we will do, or disable, we will do enable. Control V, so that's enable dash mm agent space dash mc enter once again you saw nothing there was no confirmation so you can verify that it worked and as you can see memory compression is now true back to the default and there you have it as always if you do check tutorial there's some other stuff down here check your ram speed windows memory diagnostic tools blah 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 all sorts of different stuff to help you out if this doesn't get you to where you want to be but there's something I thought some of you guys would be interested in because it's a very, you may have seen it a million times looking at the task manager and never even thought about it. So a lot of people don't even know this exists. It's just on, it's there, it's set by Microsoft, it's forgotten about. So hopefully it helps a couple people out. Some people swear it fixes their problems. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.